Thank you for meeting with us today, Mr. Corrin. My name is Owen Szymanski, and I'm here today on behalf of my firm, Top Advice. After speaking with yourself previously regarding potential issues within your organization, our analysis has found significant disruptive organizational actions internally. Mr. Corrin, there is no doubt that you have been the predominant driving force of Freshie's current growth to date. However, our analysis of your company has discovered current problems in your leadership, decision-making process, and management team. Freshie is like your home, your second family. Your passion and determination to grow the brand is unmirrored, and our firm wants to help you achieve this goal and return higher levels of faith back into your company's stakeholders. Destructive organizational behavior may compromise the integrity of your company's employees' organizational commitment going forward and result in continual loss in stakeholders' faith. Management's escalation of commitment and self-serving bias, along with the lack of expertise, has strongly compromised the company's current financial position. Your inconsistent interactions with fellow employees demonstrates poor leadership under the leader member exchange theory. The degree of, leaders, of a leader's effectiveness strongly correlates with job performance. Demonstrating varying levels of sportsmanship between differing employee interactions leads to counterproductive behavior as this displays a high degree of incivility and personal aggression through the discourteous and hostile verbal communication. Your practice of radical transparency in the workplace does not motivate every employee in a suitable manner, and affecting an employee's embeddedness can limit their civic virtue to the company and overall lower their commitment to the organization. Some found you to be an encouraging, even inspiring boss, and others quite the opposite, being known to leave interactions with yourself in tears. The inspirational boss experienced by many employees needs to be a focus as it is known to lead to high degrees of effective commitment. Your mood inconsistencies have known to lead over to the decision-making process, experiencing poor communicator competence through often deferring questions in media conferences. As you have personally said, there is no one factor affecting the underperformers, and instead put the blame on the franchise owners themselves. The decision to, re to relay the blame on franchisees shows a self-serving bias, deflecting the consequences of the poor management leadership performance, which leads to the escalation of commitment as your company is unable to identify a fix to the issue at hand until the problem can be correctly identified. As your company is approaching the middle point of a punctuated equilibrium, aside from the early success, it seems quite apparent that a significant change is needed in order to regain Freshie's growth. After meeting with your company executives and outside industry analysts, it has become apparent of your company's lack of expertise and history within management. To restructure the internal workings of your current executive team and bring a higher industry knowledge and expertise to the company, our firm proposes the hire of a new COO, replacing the one which left last year, one exhibiting higher expertise in regards to the food sales industry, will surely help Freshly get back on track. Our firm recommends that you work with our consulting company in order to implement the Job Descriptive Index Rational Decision Making Model and the hire of a new Chief Operating Officer. The implementation of heightened internal performance measures through the Job Descriptive Index will incorporate the 360 degree feedback model to ensure everyone within the organization's opinion is heard to better build trust between management, employees, and franchisees, along with guaranteeing a correct use of legitimate power down the management chain. The insertion of the rational decision-making model will raise the standards from the current decision-making mishaps, ensuring more opinions from qualified people are heard. Understanding both positive and negative consequences is essential for this model, and a greater collective understanding from all management is key. The hire of a new COO will bring a new decision-making perspective to the table and to help bring a higher degree of industry expertise to your current executive team. Delegating many of your CEO duties to this position will allow for a re restart in the company's direction, bringing a new face of power to lead the company, even after recognizing yourself that different skills are required to lead the company from here on out, compared to the ones to build the company to date. The collaborative solution represents integrative bargaining for both yourself and the company, as you remain in control of the company you built from the ground up without losing any stake in ownership and the company can reconstruct its internal workings in an attempt to regain stakeholders' confidence. Mr. Korn, thank you very much for having us today, and we thoroughly hope you choose to proceed with our firm.